Today we have a KitchenAid dishwasher. This also works for Whirlpool dishwashers. It isn't cleaning very well. It's basically not cleaning the upper basket at all. Pretty good on the lower basket, but nothing really on the upper basket. And this is a very common problem that's due to accumulation of junk down in the lower filter assembly. So we're gonna get in there and clean it. It's pretty easy, It'll take you about probably 15 minutes. So we're taking out the baskets. We took out the bottom one, we took the latches off of the rails on the upper basket. We slid that one out. And now we have to do a little bit of disassembly. We're gonna take this lower spray arm off by grabbing the little nut and turning it. We pulled off the diffuser and we're gonna pull this toward us. It comes out of a clip. Some of these have a little Phillips head screw you have to remove also. Pull that out. And we're gonna turn this to our right to about 45 degrees and we can slip it out. This little piece fits in here. And now we're using a Torx, I think it's a Torx 15 screw to unscrew, I believe it's five screws holding the filter assembly in position. We're gonna get those screws all out and then we're gonna use something to pry up on this assembly. You could use a standard head screwdriver or I'm just using my knife here to pry up. And we're gonna take that, get it out of the way. Might need to clean that one. This one was clean on this machine, but you might need to clean yours by running it underneath some, some hot water. There's a Torx 15 screw. We're gonna remove one little screw here to the left. This one right here. And then we can lift up on this light gray housing, get it out of the way. Might need to clean that up a little bit too. There's some junk caught in there. And the main area you're gonna find where there's a lot of crud is down in the sump area, right down in here. And there's a screen, a macerator screen here, a silver screen, and this one's really filthy. It has so much junk caught in it that when the circulation pump tries to push water and get it to go into the spray arms, only about maybe 5% of the water is making it through. So we're getting very little water action up higher. Gravity's just not our friend and the pump doesn't have enough energy to get the water to go through that clogged filter. So we're gonna clean that up. We're just gonna grab as much of this junk out as we can just using our fingers. And then we'll use an old toothbrush and some water to get that super clean. So I'm just using an old toothbrush and I'm just gonna rub it and clean all that junk out of there. These macerator blades spin when the circulation motor spins and they'll cut up some food debris that might be in there. But these dishwashers really are not well designed to clean up a lot of food debris on your dishes. So if you don't wanna to have to do this very often or not even at all, it's important to rinse your dishes under the sink to get off most of the stuff that's on the dishes before you start the dishwasher. And this will really make your dishwasher last longer. You probably never even have to do this procedure. So we're also using the toothbrush to clean off this housing, get everything super clean. But the main thing is that macerator silver screen in there. And just use some water and again an old toothbrush or you could use a wire brush and just get it nice and shiny again get all that debris off clean the front of it and the back of it and then water from the pump will be able to shoot out with a lot of pressure it'll be able to, to go into all the spray arms the lower spray arm is easy it'll make it to the middle spray arm and also to even the spray arm at the very top and your dishes will be much much cleaner and you probably won't have to use very long cycle times. So you can see, I'm just getting that toothbrush to get all over that silver macerator screen. And then I'm gonna put the housing back on. I got it nice and clean. I'll put that little 15 
Torx 15 screw back in to the left. That's what's going to hold it in position. You can get these Torx screwdriver sets at any hardware store or Amazon can send you one. You know, zip that screw down to get it nice and tight. We're just putting it all back together now. One way you can tell you have a problem with this, if you put a cup upside down in the upper basket and run your dishwasher for 10 minutes, if there's no water in that cup, you know that that's all gunky down there and you gotta clean it. We're gonna line up this oblong piece to this oblong part here. We're gonna match those up when we put this filter back on. So again, you may have to clean this lighter gray filter too by running it underneath the sink, but this one actually looked pretty good. We got that locked in. We're gonna tighten up those Torx 15 screws. All right, got that. And we're gonna make sure this is nice and clear, this tube. Let's bring water up to the mid spray arm and the top spray arm. Here's the top one. I want to make sure all those little holes are nice and open. There's no food caught in there. If there is, you can just pull it out with some tweezers. So we're going to bring this in at about 45 degrees, out at about 130. And we're going to make sure this piece goes into the light gray one first. And then the dark gray piece is going to go over that. Get that arm at about 45 degrees to get it to go into these lugs. And then we're gonna push down with the left hand. So these lugs are down there nice and tight. And then use the right hand to move the arm to 12 o'clock or 90 degrees. That locks it in. And then we just have to push this part into these spring clamps till it locks in. Same on the top. You may have to add a little Phillips head screw also, depending on the model. That's pretty much it. We gotta put the lower, put on this deflector that shoots the water around. Make sure it's nice and clear. Just pushes down and then push back. So go in first and then push back at the top. There we go. And then this, this thing, pull it up so that it's nice and loose and that's going to be what locks onto the lower spray arm so it has to be kind of wiggly and loose turn the nut here to our left or counterclockwise to tighten it or you can turn the arm to your right make sure the arms can spin and then we're going to slide in the upper basket into its rails on both sides it has two wheels on each side that have to go in. And then once you got them in, you can push the blue latch to your, toward the inside of the dishwasher to lock the upper basket. There we go. All right, this shows how the mid basket or upper basket lines up with that hole in the tower to get water to go into it. Put in the lower basket. And that should do it. You should be able to start it up and then you could check it after about maybe 10 minutes of running and you should find that there is some water in a cup that you left upside down in the upper basket. And then you know it's working good. That looks, that looks great watching our video and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance and also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money so thanks again for watching and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you to contact me at the email listed below, which is scottthefixitguy at yahoo.com with any of your questions. And also if you need to have a uh, FaceTime meeting with me 
or a Zoom meeting, you can click on one of the links below in the description and we can set up a 15 minute or 30 minute video conference where we can work on your appliance problem. So thanks again for all your support and for watching the video.